This stagnated pool you see behind me has claimed the lives of about four children within the past three years. This is as a result of mining that has stopped for over eight years now. In fact, there are about a hundred of these trenches covered dangerously with water. The deceased, Emmanuel Abwaje, died trying to save his nine-year-old brother, Yao. His father saved him early enough, but lost the other brother. They told Love News what happened. My brother, Abwaje, and I came here to fetch water. I tripped and fell into the water. He jumped in to save me. But I learned he drowned. He was not moving when I brought him out of the water. After rescuing him, I was told his senior brother, Abwaji, was also in the water. But I couldn't save him because I'm not a good swimmer. He was so weak when he was finally retrieved. I did not have any hope he was alive, though those around were saying he was still alive. It took a number of local divers hours to rescue the boy who died later on his way to the hospital. A member of the rescue team, Shadra Kofori, said the people expected more from the police at Petrenza. Uh, I'm very, very unhappy, all because when the incident happened, my brother-in-law went to the police station uh, at Petrenza police station, yeah, as a case. And we were expecting policemen or one of the policemen to come to the site where the incident uh, was going. But from the time it was around 2 o'clock up to 5 o'clock, we did not see any policeman. But the police at Petrenza say the people reported missing children, but they told them to conduct a search for them and report to the police later. The indigents are worried. It was through the Galamse people who came here looking for gold. And uh, they used that of the excavator and they dig down deeply down. And after they got their gold, they supposed to what, level everything. They did not. Our leaders should help cover these pits. The pits are scattered all around and all of them have been claiming lives. If government will help us, we will be happy because the pits are killing children. These pits are everywhere, all around. So the death of this 13-year-old boy in an illegal mining pit has shocked the Petrensa community. Indeed, they are waiting for a solution, and the solution lies in reclaiming these lands to prevent such needless deaths. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaradonko, Petrensa, Ashanti region.